All right guys, so we got the new red dot sight here from 8 Advanced Optics. Without further ado, let's go ahead and unveil it. When you open it up, your owner's manual, warranty stuff, all that's gonna be up here in the top. So just like any other 8 Advanced Optic red dot sight, micro red dot sight like this, the easiest way to get it out is to take the foam out, flip it over, take the red dot out the bottom, get your tools, and this one comes with a lucky coin and an adjustment dial I'll show you guys how to use this a little bit later on in the video for now let's go ahead and put this stuff back all right so let's get into this red dot here it's a very nice red dot it does come with this nice hard plastic case I like this hard plastic cover I like this especially over the rubber ones it just seems like it's got a little more protection to it so that's a very nice feature as you guys can see it's a 5 MOA red dot sight the on, off, and brightness adjustment is all right here. You will push and hold this for about two to three seconds. The red dot will come on. It comes on at its highest intensity level. As I said earlier, you guys just push and click that and it'll cycle through. After you get to your highest intensity setting, it cycles back down to the lowest. You guys can see it's just barely there. There's number two, three, four, five, six. And if we push it again, it goes back to the lowest. You push and hold it, it'll turn off. Very nice. Another nice feature about this is it has a four hour auto shut off. Now I have tested the four hour auto shut off. It does work. It does not have the shake awake, unfortunately, but it is what it is. It's a $50 red dot sight. Very nice. Uh, the battery is mounted underneath, unfortunately. So you are gonna have to unmount this, whether it's on an optics plate, a slide cut, or even this rail to change out the battery. The battery is a 2032 battery, which is a very readily available battery, very common. So that's another nice feature they did. Let's go ahead and check the lens. The lens they say is 20, 25 millimeters wide by 16 millimeters high. So we'll get our handy dandy calibers out here. We are zeroed. Go ahead and see what we got. Uh, whoop. They're 24.5, so I guess if you round that up, it would be 25. Let's check our height. Let's get it in there. And our height is 16.7. So they're not quite as, it's not quite as wide as they, they claim it to be, but it is definitely taller than they're claiming it to be. So I guess per square millimeters, you are getting the exact same millimeters. Go ahead, we'll get this off of here. We'll go ahead and I'll show you why it won't mount to a Vortex Venom slide, unfortunately, slide cut. But uh, when we get out to the range, we'll have it mounted to the Vortex Venom plate. It fits just fine on any Venom, Burris, Doc Ops plate. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, as you guys can see, it does have the, the correct size to be able to fit on there. It would normally fit. It's just barely not gonna fit. Well, the reason it doesn't fit on mine, if I didn't have these posts right here, it would actually set down inside there like it's supposed to. It would set just like this. But that's where we're running into the problem at. The holes on top do not align. That's the problem. That's why it will not mount. Other than that, guys, this would mount to a Vortex Venom slide cut. If you could just get a slide cut without the screw holes in it and maybe tap that yourself, uh, that maybe be one option. But unfortunately, that's the issue I'm going to have with running this on my Glock 17. I was really really hoping to be able to get that to run on my Glock 17, but it is what it is. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll take it off the Glock 17. We'll take the, like I said, the Delta off the Glock 19 and we'll mount it on the Vortex Venom plate. Okay, if you're looking for a good affordable optics plate, I highly recommend these DPP titaniums. They're a one piece uh, optics mount. They make them for all different brands of guns, whether it's a Smith & Wesson, M&P, uh, Springfield, whatever Glock as you can see here they make them for different red dot footprints as well check them out DPP titanium they start off about 20 bucks go up to about 50 depending on material and what you're gonna what you're asking for what you want but it's a one piece a very affordable one piece check them out on Amazon DPP titanium now guys we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get this Delta off here we're gonna get this aid RD3009 mounted on there and uh, get this out to the range we've got a few other guns to test it on just besides pistols as well
Let's head to the range. Eight advance optic, RD3009D. All right, we're gonna put this through its test. We're gonna try it out, see how it works. So we are high and to the left, or sorry, high and to the right. So we're gonna loosen our back screws back here. Okay, <clears throat> so our screws are loose back here. Now we are to the right first. So I wanna make my adjustment to the right. I'm gonna probably go one MOA. And let's make it two. We'll uh, tighten down the back here real quick and make our shots. All right, so after 12 rounds, guys, I ended up getting that sighted in pretty good. It's a very awesome little tool to use. So uh, if you guys are going to make your adjustment, definitely use this tool. It works out very well. Let's do some shooting. See how it's gonna react on top of this Glock 19. It's been doing great so far. Let's see how it holds zero. All right, that was 15 rounds. Let's go take a look at that target. All right, guys, there's my 15 rounds. Uh, I am to the low and to the left. I guess I could make my adjustment again and make bring that up a little bit. So let's go ahead and use our handy dandy tool and we will make our adjustment. All right, guys, sorry for that. I got out of sequence and ended up getting my uh, record and pause mixed up here. But I did shoot my 15 rounds and this is where we ended up at. You guys can kind of go back, compare where I had my rounds at earlier to where I have it now. But uh, took out a pretty good chunk right there, I think. Like I said, guys, this is 10 yards. Let's go back. I got another mag, and we'll go down a little further here, kind of down here somewhere. We'll aim. And uh, maybe I can get you guys a view through the red dot sight on this target, or at least nothing else, just a view of what this red dot looks like. So there's the dot, guys. That's how small it is. You can see it right below the target in the grass there. Very center. I'll move it around. That's how small the dot is. Now if I bring it up on paper, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'm going to take a few shots, hopefully you guys can see it. All right, hopefully that gives you guys a good idea what that red dot looks like. So the nice thing about these eight advanced optics micro red dot sights guys is they don't fit just on pistols. Eight advanced optics sends them with rail mounts. So you guys can mount them to other guns such as ARs. Now guys, this is the Battle Worn, or I'm gonna call it the Bio Battle Worn AR. Uh, it may or may not stay in the collection. I did Cerakote it. This is another Cerakote job I did. And uh, as you guys can see, we have the 8 Advanced Optic mounted to the top of it. I'm not gonna shoot for accuracy with this. I just wanna show you guys that uh, they do mount to ARs. We are gonna shoot it though. And uh, let's just see how it holds up. Now guys, 8 Advanced Optics make some really, really great red dot sights, and they're very affordable. This one's 55 bucks, 
I'll leave a link in the description or right up here in the top of the video for you guys to see another red dot sight, maybe even a laser, or check the description down below. I'll leave links to that as well. Guys, I'm really excited about this. $55 for this red dot sight, very affordable and holding up very, very well. That's a nice, nice red dot sight. All right, guys, I just want to kind of show you the target. Now, like I said, I didn't sight this in, and where I was aiming at right here, guys, all my shots are right here. I wasn't shooting for accuracy. It does show how well the red dot sight does hold up to the AR-15 5.56 recoil. So let's go ahead and try it out on another gun. Out here testing out the uh, 8 Advanced Optic on the last firearm we've got. We've been doing a pistol. We've done an AR rifle. What else is left? How about a shotgun? Let's go ahead and fire a few rounds down range and see how this thing holds up. Ah, oh, ha, 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 ha. Love shotguns, guys. Love shotguns. Ooh. Smoking. Oh, yeah. Definitely a good option. These eight advanced optics for your home defense shotgun. Nice red dot optic. All right, guys, as you guys can see, this is a very nice red dot sight. It fits on very, very many different platforms, whether it's a pistol, shotgun, or rifle. And it doesn't have to be an AR. You guys could do an AK. You guys could do a uh, Scorpion. It definitely fits on any semi-automatic rifle with a pick rail. Very, very nice feature. Now, guys, you can also order this with a optics plate for your pistol, and they do as come as a two-piece. Now, if you guys have watched my other videos, you know I'm not a fan of the two-piece optics plate. Uh, personal issues, I've had two of them break off on me. I wouldn't recommend them. If you guys are looking for a good optics plate, check out the DPP Titanium. I'll leave a link in the description down below. They uh, they find them on Amazon. They run about 20 bucks starting off and up to about 40, 50 bucks. So go check out DPP Titanium, guys. Now I digress. Back to the 8 Advanced Optics. 8 Advanced Optics is making great products. It's not just red dots, and they don't limit themselves to just red dots. They also make lasers. They also make scopes. They make flashlights. They make a lot of great products. Guys, I'm very impressed with all these 8 Advanced stuff I've been bringing out. It's been, hands down, it's been great, and they're very affordable. That's what this channel is driven towards, is good, quality, affordable products. And guys, 8 Advanced Optic fits that niche, and it fits it very well. These guys are making good quality products, and uh, I'm very impressed with how well this has hold, held up so far. $55 red dot sight. So guys, if you've enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, please. I appreciate that. If you guys want to help support the channel, I have a PayPal account down below. I'm also on Patreon. We don't have anything uploaded there yet. If you like to follow on what I'm doing, check out my Facebook account. I have a link in the description down below. Another spot you guys can find me at is at gunstreamer.com. It is a great alternative platform to YouTube in case we ever get shut down here. And thanks for shooting the breeze with me, guys. We'll catch you next time.